Hello everyone, welcome to Danny Designs, D Squared again. Uh, today is a Friday, June 26th, 2020. And what I'm going to do today, well, it's going to be muggy hot today, but uh, it's, it's in the morning still, so hopefully I can get some stuff done before noon. Anyway, what I'm going to do today, I'm going to show you a couple spots here. Uh, the floor joist that I put across on the house. Uh, you know, they go, uh, you know, from the vertical here on the, the stem wall area across to the middle. And then you've seen me put some supports across the middle. Well, what I'm going to do now is add some more support. This is an open area again for some area. It's something I'm going to do later. But I'm going to put some supports between the middle and the side. So that span right there goes about 12 feet. Uh... So every once in a while, like where I'm going to put the support right underneath it, I'm going to put a block, and then I'm going to cut a section of telephone pole, set on top of the block, up to the floor joist, and then shimmy underneath it to make it tight. Just It's just going to add some more support. Does it need it? No. I'm just going to do it. You know, I just, it's that way, there's no chance... If a board does weaken or something over time or whatever, uh, the floor, you know, maybe starts bouncing a little bit, uh, it'll take that away. And I can always get under here, strengthen it up some more by putting more shimmies under it and stuff. So, you know, I'm just gonna gonna skip, you know, like from there to here, and then maybe skip two and do another one, skip two and do another one. And also in some areas where I know there's gonna be some weight, Right in this area is going to be a washing machine. You know, it's going to load up with water, become heavy. So I'll put one in this area just to strengthen this section of the floor. Um, the bathtub will be right there. So I'll put one, you know, right in this section here. Uh, um, just so when that thing fills up, it just has some more support. Uh, you know, and I've already put some underneath that floor section. I use blocks. And this will, uh, since I got those telephone poles for free, you know, they, they tore them down and let us take them from the road up uh, that I live on. Uh, I'm just going to use those sections. Instead of wasting all my blocks, like my concrete blocks, like right there I was going to start, I'm just going to put one, cut the length I need, secure it. Underneath there I've already used blocks, so I'm just going to leave that alone. But uh, also right through here is where a wall is going to go. So I'm definitely going to put... Maybe I'll move that a section over, over there a little further, and then I'll put one here because the wall is going to be here, and then I'll probably put one right in this section here. Well, I know I will, uh, because right here in this area, section of the floor is going to be uh, my wood burning stove, so that's going to be a heavy thing, you know. And and out through here, there's really not going to be anything except couches and stuff. It's just an open area, but I'm still going to, you know, put put some through here just scatter them through here strengthen this floor up um so i'm gonna get my tools together get everything going uh show you the process that, that i'm gonna do and uh we'll get after this i don't know if i'll finish it all today i might uh you know how that goes sometimes but okay i'm gonna go ahead and get my tools organized like i said start showing you what i'm doing okay what i've done I shaved off the dirt right there uh, to set the block underneath there. So now I'm going to set the camera down like so. Should be fine. I'm going to squeeze down in here, move this block over. Put it right underneath this board here, underneath this floor joist right here. Get my level, see how close I am. Oh lordy, yes. Uh, it's a little bit high on this side. So, easy fix.
And you know, these don't have to be perfect for the simple reason I will be putting shimmies under there anyway. All right, good. Looks like I shaved down a little bit too much right there, but I think if I just move the board or the block this way a little bit. Good, good. Mm, no, I don't like that. Ended up shaving a little bit too much. there good left to right pretty good right there all right so there's that now I measure I'm going to move the camera just a little bit. Measure from the top of the block to the bottom of the floor joist. And right there is 20 inches and a half. So 20 and a half inches. 20 and a half. So at 20 and a half, now, I'm going to make sure it's still recording. From the top, bottom, top of the block, bottom of this floor joist. Oops, see there's something I got to make sure this block here goes down below. So I would have, uh, it's still okay because I'm going to be able to put, if you look straight down, I'll be able to put the block or the pole on that side of this block, which is fine. All right, looks like I could probably move that over. Uh, you know, I could move it to this way just a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And uh, then go over and I will cut my pole. All right, taking a break until I get that. Right. Got to check for snakes. Coming over to my telephone poles. Fire up my chainsaw. 20 and a half inches. tape over here. I'm going to use a good scientific marker here. Another piece of wood. 20 and a half. And again, I can go a little bit shorter because i got to put shimmies underneath it. So there's that 20 and a half mark right there. Fire up this chainsaw. Get this thing cut. turner but you get the idea I'm gonna cut that thing and then I'm gonna you know, I'll show you uh, me carrying that over there putting it in place I know that uh, I haven't experienced it too much but I've been told that these poles that have been treated with the oil started cutting on this got that piece cut off there and then I remembered hey they put some copper wire on the side of these things to ground them you know, and I looked at this one, and this is what I saw, this wire coming off. So I went and got the tools, and this one doesn't have any. 
on it, the one I just cut, until here at the, what would have been the top, you know, so I just gotta check and roll that thing over. Look at there, I got some nice clamps. Those are nice. Those screw on clamps like that that connect those wires. Anyway, I just gotta be careful and roll it over and take the copper wire off. So then I went and got my dolly, transporter, whatever you wanna call them, with two wheels, and loaded that thing on there and rolled it over here. And now, getting ready to, uh, you know, pick it up and put it in there. And try to do this without causing too much of a problem. This thing's pretty heavy. This thing is, oh, heavy. It's like, I don't need to go to the gym anymore because I can do this stuff. I do pay, you know, pay for uh, a fee to go to the gym. So I do go there every once in a while. But, uh, anyway, <laughs> the work I do here, cardio is what I really need to get more uh, involved in. But anyway, so I got that right there cut. Now I'm going to try to set this camera up so you can see me set that down in there you're on top of that and then there's some shimmies right there already uh, that just blew off my deck up here so all right I get <laughs> so I'm gonna try to adjust this thing so that it will sit here so give me a second to organize the camera all right it's still recording we're looking good all right I'm getting ready to get under there and see what I can do here I will tell you, this getting in and out, in and out stuff definitely gives me a workout. You know what I'm saying? Definitely gives me a workout. So, like I was saying, going to the gym and stuff, don't really need to. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is going to be kind of awkward because it's heavy. It's hard to squat down in the, under here because of the boards. So, let's see what I can do here. All right, so there, the first little thing, if it's cut too tight, it's gonna have to slide over, like so. Nice. Try to put it right in the middle, which I did right there. Dang close, dang close. Okay, wow, all right, I like it. I'm just gonna try to bend over here. <laughs> Man, got these shimmies. Put the one in this angle first. In this angle. I'm gonna use a hammer here in a second, which I have right here. Grab this shimmy right here. Break this one in half, like so. Shimmy underneath here. Use the hammer, tap these in. go okay that's what I'm gonna do I like that I think I may try to well it won't matter I was gonna say take these cut these ends off so I can get between here but I really it, it's not important because it's at floor level the bottom of the floor joist so if, when I'm under here crawling when the floors on that won't be a factor so I think we're when I do that it's fine i'm sure sometimes i'll need to shimmy this way 
you know, sometimes at an angle to get it tight, but these things are in there tight now. And after I get them all set in place and get them tight, I'll probably go back and re-tighten them with the hammer before I start putting the, the flooring on. I've also got to go back and tighten some bolts just to make sure, because some of them have probably tightened in and fitted a little bit more, so I'm gonna tighten those things up again, you know, before I start putting the flooring on. But hey, success. Okay, uh, I'll show you the finished product as I keep going. What, what my plan is now is to go, I've marked the floor joist that I, with an X that I want to put the next one on. So I scattered, you know, with an X down through here. So what I'll do is I'll just get my blocks, put them next to the, the X's, throw them in. Then I'll go in and put the blocks in all the way first in the areas. And then I will measure each one, cut it, bring it over, and, and put it in, uh, and set it in place. So that, that'll be the, the, the steps that I'm, I, I'm going to try to do. So, okay, uh, getting hot, getting hot quick. So that's uh, what I'm gonna try to do right now. Success, that, that was what exactly what I wanted to happen. So sometimes that doesn't happen, you know? You know, as you've seen throughout my videos, sometimes <laughs> it doesn't happen at all. You know, I got to totally change my plan. But this one, success. All right, I'll uh, let you know what I'm doing and show you the process. Woo! I'm out of breath. Sorry about that. Just got out of the air, being in there, crawling around on all fours. All right, what I did, got the bricks set. See that one? That's the one I showed you earlier. Finished, make sure my process was working. So I got the bricks set, got them leveled underneath the floor joists that I wanted to put support. That one looks off a little bit. I think it's okay though. Cause those railroad, those beams are pretty dang uh, wide. So there and there. I always check for snakes right here because they might want to hide in there, you know, and get me. I'm not real big fan of snakes. So, again, nothing's happening in this area yet. Still got some designing to do. But right there, good. Over there. You know, then I got to skip two because there's nothing in this area. Heavy anyway. Put one there. And this is where, you know, I started saying, well, I need some because wall is in this area right in here. So I put one there and there'll be some staircases kind of sitting, putting pressure down on the floor in this area. So, I mean, if you look, walls here, staircases going up will be right in this area. So I have one there and then there's one on the same over there, the same joist across, which is where the staircase will be. Uh, and then, like I said, the, over there fireplace we burn a stove so here wall so i put one there in this area put one right there because that's the only place i could get it i mean i could do something right there if i needed to but you know washing machine right in this area but i got a block then i got a scab bolted in this area is pretty solid then i got one right down in there just again i just skipped one got one right there you know, this is where bathroom stuff will be, shelves and all that. Wall, there's gonna be a wall in between the, the mud room and the master bathroom. And then one right there for the bathtub. They're all nice and level. I'm assuming it's around lunchtime. I know it's hot. So, I'm gonna take me a little break, get some water in me, and probably come out and start cutting some more of these bad boys up. You know, so I can get them in place and uh, I'm not sure how I don't want to keep getting in and out in and out so I'm gonna work on a system uh, to measure them maybe write them down label them so they go in the correct spot after I measure them and cut them okay uh, break time okay well whoo success <laughs> okay recap putting in the telephone pole segments that I cut under the house under the floor joists 
put blocks, center blocks, then cut sections of these, put them in like that. So there we go. Some of them aren't completely done because I need more shimmies, different sizes. But there they are. They're under there. The shimmying part's easy. That one, that was a bear getting them in there. And in there. That was some physical work right there. So there they are. I wanted to show you the finished. We'll say 99.5 finished part of it. Because so like I said, the shimmy in, I got to do on some of them. There they are. They are done. See, there's some shimmies, but I need, I need more. So I, was, I just stopped at a couple places. I need some thicker ones. There it is. Okay. Success. Thanks for watching Danny Designs, D Squared. Really appreciate it. Another positive happening on the log cabin in Oklahoma house. This is, it takes step by step, but it gets there. Okay, doing that because the sun will hit you. Again, thank you. Please like and subscribe. Pass the word.